unbiased. Those are the best kind. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. We're live here from Wallops Island for the launch of Laddie. And over to my right, uh, we have the, uh, the Laddie uh, spacecraft on pad 0B. And we have about less than 37 minutes away. And we have a special segment. We actually have uh, two, two people with us. We have Evie from Puerto Rico, now living in California. And we have Kim from Charlotte, North Carolina. How are you doing? Right. Great. Just Great. <laughs> and Kim and Evie are part of the NASA Social Group. And explain to us, uh, Evie, we'll start with you. What, what is NASA Social Group? So a NASA Social is when NASA invites a group of people from the general public to come here and see the facilities, usually around an event like a mission like LADI, and just learn about the mission and get it out to the public. And so this is from Twitter? Yes. And, and what's your Twitter handle? Astro. EV spelled I V Y. So for all those people watching the show now, they're gonna actually uh, click follow on me. And follow you and, and check everything out. And yeah. Kim, what about you? I'm just I'm just Kim Alex. <laughs> <laughs> now, what got you interested in, in coming here for the launch? Well, it's NASA. NASA is amazing. It's always inspiring, and uh, a mission to the moon is always just. It's beautiful <laughs> in the sense, very poetic, because we haven't been there in a while since Apollo. So uh, now that we are going again like mm -hmm. yes. well I'm I'm an elementary science lab teacher okay. and so um, the new science standards came out and I thought and and we have to start teaching space like in first grade and so I thought well this would be a great way to start doing that and and um, so being part of the NASA social has been fabulous it's just all the information I can take back to my students it's just been fabulous and you know we talked to Tony uh, earlier in the program talking about the uh, ultraviolet spectrometer and yes. for 600 bucks you can buy one I know, well, I know. Yeah, so you may want to think about that you know get a, get a grant to school and, and get one I'll for talk the kids. to my headmaster <laughs> <laughs> now you've been here for a couple of days uh, and kind of uh, give us wh what's your one takeaway uh, obviously the launch is, is, is gonna be the pinnacle oh, yeah. Yeah, we're but, waiting for that yeah but yeah. but you know, for the last couple of days, what's one thing that you learned about NASA that you didn't know before? Kim, we'll start with you. I, I think what, what I learned about, I, I, that the people that work for NASA are so nice <laughs> and so accommodating and that they have so many educational programs. And I feel like I can say, I work for NASA because I can be a citizen scientist and 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 that's what they need they need us to help them and um, I just think that's excellent and I my students and I will do that when we get back home and they they can need you on this mission because you can count some craters too I can count <laughs> craters <laughs> yes yeah yeah one thing I did learn was a fancy term called surface boundary exosphere <laughs> which is why we're going to the moon uh, because not only the moon has this kind of exosphere, but other bodies like Mercury, and so that was really cool. I did not know that. Yeah. Now, one of the one of the cool things. Have you ever been to a NASA facility before? Never. It's your first one. First. So, so this is this is a, a, a different facility, Wallops Flight Facility, uh, you know, where they launch you know, thousands of sounding rockets. You know, we have yeah. uh, an aircraft. Uh, we have a runway here. We do uh, super pressure balloons. But what's what's one thing that you learned about Wallops? About Wallops. Mm -hmm. Um, About the center itself. Oh my gosh! Um, I don't know. There's so <laughs> many things. I I I I came as a blank slate person, okay. you know, and I've learned just so many things. Um, I I really can't. I I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to answer. Wow. Yeah, I was very well, impressed with the scientific balloon pro program. Yes. That was really cool. Yes. <laughs> I was that not was. expecting that to be so cool, and like the balloons go up almost to the edge of space and right. then they stay there for weeks mm -hmm. and uh, that was something that I was not expecting and it's it's very it's, it does it gets done here so right. that was really cool yeah <laughs> so just from uh, just uh, looking at the reactions of your faces and talking to you all you know off the off the stage uh, I I can almost guarantee you would probably encourage other people to Absolutely. join an NASA social, Absolutely. get involved, learn more about what we do at the agency and you could you learn so much Absolutely and th you know what the thing that I I'm so impressed with was was the whole Twitter um, putting out everybody's Twitter name and then so that we could all get to know each other and we all psyched each other up before we actually met each other and the whole experience for some strange reason it I feel like that laddie in my heart has been personified like it's not just you know <laughs> it's now dear in our hearts yeah yeah it's like really a real person to me right and um, 
That's amazing. Well, I tell you what, we want to thank you two so much for coming out here, thank enjoying you. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the festivities you. over the past couple of days. Uh, just seeing your enthusiasm, uh, this says it all. Uh, you seem like you learned so much. And big shout out to Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina, Providence Day School Chargers. <laughs> Go! And California. And everybody in Puerto Rico and California uh -huh. who's watching. And your Twitter handle one more time? Astro Evie. And Kim Alex, A L I X. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, we're going to go to a trailer now on uh, LLCD, which is the uh, Lunar Laser Communication Demonstration. And we're going to be back with a special guest.